that was very big and unnecessary. Today I'm talking about Boohoo's recycled range because it was something that was brought to my attention a good couple of months ago and I thought perfect, fits in with the whole ethical fashion thing, I can talk about it, give my views on it, the good and the bad, um, lovely, great cool it's now september and i've still not filmed the video on it so i thought that's finally what i do today i've got a lot of thoughts on the subject so i thought i need to film the video so boohoo actually kindly sent me these things i want to say at the end of june and like i was really excited to film it and everything but then i had graduation and then july was a whole mess and then august somehow happened and i've still not filmed it so yeah i'm gonna show you some pieces today give my thoughts on the whole recycled range and that whole stuff and how it fits in with ethical fashion you'll you'll get the gist as we go along so I thought I would just start off by giving my overview on the topic and then I'll show you the specific pieces so having a recycled range amazing good job like it's preventing unwanted materials from going into landfill preventing waste being more sustainable love that my only issue with it is that it's still from a fast fashion brand and they're still producing fast fashion goods so whilst you're not supporting the fast fashion side of it because you're buying the more sustainable items you're still supporting the fast fashion company and i don't want to bash boohoo because they're obviously taking a step in the right direction and some companies aren't doing that but it's still kind of feeding into that fast fashion mentality. And that's the thing I have a slight issue with. So having a recycled range, as I said, good job. Preventing waste, we love that. But if we were gonna take bigger steps to becoming more sustainable, all their clothes should be recycled and all of their clothes should be more sustainable. That's just what I'm thinking. Obviously a big thing with sustainable fashion is normally it's a lot more expensive because it's more expensive to make things sustainably. So I think a fast fashion brand producing recycled range is a good idea for those who can't afford to buy completely sustainably because it's not it shouldn't all be on the consumer and if you can't afford the more like high quality sustainable things that shouldn't be on you necessarily so i think it is a good idea to have a recycled range that is more affordable and that is more accessible for people with lower incomes or who don't have that money to spend on fashion so i think in that way it's a great idea as well like, like, I don't want to bash Boohoo and say, but they're still a fast fashion company. They're doing the right thing. They're producing a recycled range. It would just be, obviously, a whole lot better if everything was sustainable and everything was kind of recycled or that sort of thing. You get me? Yes. So that's basically my overview, if that made any sense. Sometimes I just talk and then I forget what I'm saying. So then I talk more and that adds to the issue but yeah that's my overview i've got more videos coming up about sustainable fashion so stay tuned for that but for now i'll just show you the items that i do have from the boohoo recycled range i'm not going to talk extensively about how each item looks because you can see that when i hold it up and try it on i'm more going to talk about like what they have on offer and maybe how i'd style some things so the first thing i have is this red racer back ribs top and it actually comes with matching culottes or it doesn't come with but you can buy matching culottes as well i probably won't be wearing it with the matching culottes i do have them but i much prefer to wear like pieces of a matching set separately so i like having the option of being able to wear them together but i don't really like the whole matching look on me i love it on other people on me i just feel like a bit of a tomato like if i wear it all red no so yeah i'll probably stick to wearing this with jeans or other kind of material things probably wouldn't go for the red culottes but yeah i think it's a nice standard top definitely good for summer it's a shame that i'm just filming this at the start of autumn but i also love these sort of tops for layering under jumpers because sometimes i'm not a massive fan of when you can just see a lot of skin under a round neck jumper like i like there to be another something underneath and this kind of style top is quite perfect for that so i'll try and show you what i mean in the try on bit um but yeah it's perfect for summer but also can be useful in autumn, winter. So as I said, you can get the red culottes to match. These are just a pretty standard pair of culottes. They have an elasticated waist and then, yeah, they're just the same material all the way down. Nothing really to say about them. They're really comfy, a little bit see-through. So I'd probably wear some either nude underwear or white, maybe not white nude underwear underneath, um, but they make your bum look amazing and I don't have the biggest bum in the world. So yeah, great pair of culottes. They don't actually irritate my legs and that's something that a lot of trousers do. So if you have sensitive skin like me, maybe pick a pair of these up. But yeah, really comfy, 
match with the top, so if you want to wear some matching items, you got it going. Yeah, I think you can tell that I've not filmed a haul in a while because I don't know what to say. But moving on to the green version of the top, I don't actually have the matching clots to these, but yeah, just got the green version of the top. I've probably worn this more than the red, which is surprising for me because red is normally my go-to colour. But I just really like the colour of this. I think it's adorable. But again, it would have been better to show this at the beginning of summer because I think this is a great summer staple. But, you know, it still works in autumn. It's fine. But yeah, I actually think I should have got the matching culottes for this because... I might have actually worn those together because the whole reason I don't want to wear the red ones together is because it's a lot of red. But green and like green clots, I think that could work. Maybe I'll pick up the clots, I don't know. But yeah, love it, really comfy. I don't actually have to wear a bra of them, maybe I should because my nipples do show, but I don't really mind that. So yeah, I don't know why I just mentioned that. I guess if you're looking for a thicker top where you're not gonna see anything through without wearing a bra, you're not gonna want one of those but I don't actually think it looks bad when I have it on without a bra because my nipples only slightly show through, but to an acceptable level, if that makes sense. I then have another green top from the collection, but you're gonna wanna watch the try on bit for this because at the moment it's just looking like a green mess. But this is basically a wrap kind of tie up top. And yeah, I really like the style of that. The only problem is, it's not really with the top, it's more of just me being really dumb, is that I had a bit of a dodgy tan line or burn line from it because I forgot to put on sun cream and I burn in the lovely deep V it's got going on. So yeah, not really a problem with the top, just me being really stupid. But yeah, I think it's a great top for summer and obviously if you got the matching clots, it would match with the racer back top or this. Like they're completely the same colour, completely the same material. So if you picked up those clots, you could mix and match what top you wanted to wear with it, which is pretty cool. We love having options. I then picked up this black midi dress and I actually used to have a black midi dress from Boohoo. I think it's actually the first ever thing I bought, but a couple of years ago I got rid of it because I thought midi dresses, they're just not really a thing anymore. And then they came back into fashion. Typical. Um, so yeah, I picked this up from the recycled range because that's the thing. My other one wasn't recycled, so I guess I'm being better by getting this one. I'm really not. That's a whole lot of lies. But yeah, I picked up this one, which has sort of become my interview dress because it can really be dressed up if you want to make it look fancy, but it can also be made casual. So when I want to make it fancy, I just stick on my like leather belt around the middle and then wear my heeled sandals or something and I look ready for business. But if I want to wear it more casually, I usually go for my utility belt and like stick on some docks or some trainers. So it's a really versatile dress. You can style it up, style it down. Style it so many ways. And then finally, I also picked up the white version of the midi dress. I'd say this is probably more casual than the black one. Like I probably, actually I could wear this to an interview, but I feel much more like fancy and smart if I wear the black one. But the way I like to wear this is by pairing it with some big chunky black boots and then a black belt around the middle as well, just to break up the whole load of white. So yeah, this is another dress I do think could be styled up or down, but I think if you wanna go proper fancy, the black one's more for you. If you wanna go semi-fancy, but maybe more summery and casual, go for the white. So yeah. They're all the bits that I picked out from the recycled range. They have a few more bits now that it's been a bit of time because it's taken me so long to film this. Um, but yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, having a recycled range is a beautiful idea. Like it's making sustainable fashion a lot more affordable for people and it's kind of promoting it and putting it out there and like bringing it forward in people's minds. Like I think ethical fashion has always been in people's minds, but they're kind of like bearing it back because they've got the desire to buy more clothes. But having this recycled range is giving people the option to buy more affordable, sustainable items and hopefully it will get people People in like the habit of thinking more sustainably so I think it's definitely a step in the right direction you can't ever fault a company for trying when it comes to the environment has it solved all the issues of course not it's gonna take a lot more to do that but it's definitely a step in the right direction and I don't think we should be complaining about it you know we should be celebrating it. So yeah, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos about sustainable fashion. I do have a couple of companies I want to look at in mind, but if you have any others, then feel free to suggest. Although I am working with a very limited budget, so I don't know how many things I can buy and review, but hopefully I can reach out to companies or they can reach out to me. We'll make it work. Um, but yeah, I do wanna make sustainable fashion much more of a talking point on my channel again. I feel like it got a bit 
lost down there but I'm gonna bring it back with the styling videos and all of that I'm gonna get proper into it again you've not seen anything yet you've seen nothing yet I don't know what I'm saying I really hate wrapping up videos if you can't tell um so yeah thank you for watching if you stayed this far congratulations wow you the man um woman anything you the person um yeah I'll see you soon if I've not put you off of ever coming back to my channel. I'm a mess. <laughs>